Hi friends, Jay Todd here at the Global Gaming Expo where I've caught up with the brand new president of the American Gaming Association, Jeff Freeman. He's so new in fact, he's still got little pieces of that bubble wrap coming off him there. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much for coming on. Um, you know, the AGA historically wasn't really necessarily positive about online gambling of many years ago and then they looked at it and now we're in a state Nevada, where online gambling is legal. People are playing online poker at, uh, at two different sites now. What a turnaround. And now we have you, uh, Mr. Fahrenkampf, uh, God bless him, was a great man, but he's, uh, he's moved on and, and you're here now. Uh, you made an interesting comment the other day about embracing the industry as a whole. I would like for you to just, you know, say hello to the players and maybe elaborate a little bit on the AGA and what the plans are for the future. Sure, I appreciate it. And thank you for this opportunity. You know, I'm coming at the issue of online gaming while the uh, train is well down the tracks, obviously. And there's a lot of history here on this issue. But certainly now the AGA is quite outspoken on where uh, we want this issue to be regulated, why we think the federal government is best positioned to take care of that, how we think it will not help just not just the companies, but it will help players. And I'm happy to talk about that a little bit more. What I think the AGA needs to figure out looking forward is how we provide the greatest amount of value to the industry. One area where we've been incredibly effective, and Frank uh, deserves a, a credit for this, is in preventing Washington from doing bad things to the industry. The expansion we've seen over the past several years is really due to the fact that people like Frank, Senator Reid, uh, and many others protected this industry and enabled it to thrive. As we move forward, protecting, preventing harm can only be one part of what we do. We have to find other ways to provide value to the industry. One way I think to do that is to help the industry facilitate growth. How do we attract new customers? What, are, what, what does that next generation want? How can the AGA remove barriers from manufacturers and operators alike? That's an area. Another area where I think we can provide value is touching the totality of the industry. We've been a very CEO-centric organization, and I'm grateful for the participation of people like Gary Loveman and Jim Murin, Patty Hart, and many others. We need to keep them engaged. We also need to find ways to provide value to others across the industry, whether they're property managers, sales and marketing, compliance. We need to connect and inform those folks. And then I look at the players with great interest. Why can't we champion the interests of the players? Frankly, what's good for the players is largely good for our companies. I come from the travel industry where we were all about, about removing barriers for our customer so they could enjoy travel. We're looking for the same opportunities here. You know, it's uh, funny, we were speaking uh, at length before we turned the camera on, and that's what surprised me most, is that uh, now the uh, American Gaming Association, where you, you, like you said, you've done many good, positive things for the industry, but uh, now you're really uh, focusing, you, you've, you've got this fresh focus where you're looking and saying, you know, players, uh, they're the lifeblood, because it doesn't matter how big and pretty the casinos are, or, you know, th how great the show is or the food, without the customers, there is no casino, there is no AGA, there is no This Week in Gambling, right? So it, it's really refreshing to, to see some Somebody come in and say, hey, you know what, with this new approach, we're going to focus on the players. I mean, wouldn't you agree that, that moving forward, I mean, the, the AGA, you're going to be uh, uh, proactive. What can you do uh, as far as advocacy and, and, and regulatory things and, and making sure the player's experience is the best it can be? Well, I think from, a, from an AGA perspective, what we needed to do is begin to turn the page to the next chapter. What Frank and the team did in Chapter 1 was exactly what needed to be done. A very young industry that was under attack needed to have someone come in and protect the industry. You know, a threat is what usually rallies an industry and brings people together. Now we need to figure out, because uh, folks feel less concerned about the threats, uh, they're all focused individually, the companies, and in doing their thing. How do we get them to think, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we're all fighting each other, but Wednesday we come together to, to, to focus on one thing. And what is that one thing? I think that one thing is facilitating growth. How do we figure out who the 70% of people are in this country who didn't go to casinos last year? Why didn't they go? What are the obstacles to them going? What portion of that group is undecided? What barriers can we help them remove? I think that's a question we need to ask. I think with regard to uh, the players in general, we need to figure out what challenges they deal with. What, how can we be more informed? How can we help them access the product better? Those are all opportunities, questions that we need to ask. We're excited to do that. I think we can be a great champion of the player. I think we also need to help the player understand some of the challenges we go through. You know, here in the United States, there are more than 200 regulatory jurisdictions that manufacturers and others are dealing with. 
dealing with all these various jurisdictions uh, creates immense cost for manufacturers, for operators. It creates inefficiency. When we have that, the companies are less agile, less nimble, less able to innovate uh, like they would like to. You know, you look at your iPhone, your app store every day has five, ten new updates. Our members would like to do that too, but the regulatory process, at least the inconsistencies in the process, prevent that. How do we, how do we uh, turn the players into a champion for reforming this regulatory process? That's where there's an opportunity to work together. Wow. Lots of refreshing, you know, brand new focused stuff. It, it's great to hear. And I'm sure the players out there are just as thrilled as I am to have you on with the AGA. Mr. Freeman, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you.